my, this is so weird. Okay, this is really awkward. Hi, my name is Katie, and welcome to my channel. Remember the time I said I wanted to lose weight? Okay, so let's start with where I'm at, weight loss-wise, fitness-wise, things like that. Because I am a busy mother and wife, um, I don't get to go to the gym as often as I would like. I was going regularly um, at least two to three times a week, uh, which was nice. I was getting in at minimum 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And that was awesome. Uh, I, fe I felt fantastic. I felt wonderful. I like working out. I actually like it. I enjoy it. I always have. It pumps me up, makes me feel great gives me confidence just makes me feel fantastic and because you're working out i feel like for me i just tend to make better eating choices um now these last couple of weeks i've not been able to go to the gym at all because life has just been really busy i was traveling and then i had some family come into town so it's just been really really busy um uh, but no complaints because it's always awesome to see family as far as the food side of things i am being more aware of what i'm eating i am not trying to snack on everything around me because i'm just so busy that i don't typically eat a meal like i just don't i'll make food for my daughter i'll make dinner for my family but i'm just always doing something i'm either cleaning up or i'm with my baby or i'm helping my daughter like i'm just busy so if i'm eating i'm usually standing up my food is cold or i'm like trying to snack in between what I should have as a meal because I'm starving. So now I'm trying to be more aware and not just snack on things. If I'm going to snack, I'm making sure that I have fruits and vegetables handy or some popcorn. Just trying to be more aware of what I'm eating. I've been doing that for about two to three weeks now and there is going to be a, there is a difference. Like it's very slight, but like my clothes are fitting me a little bit better. This shirt that I have on used to be actually be a little bit too tight and I'm wearing it today. I, I guess that's kind of what I needed was just to eat better and eat, make sure I was eating. Um, so that's good and then hopefully I can get back on track with the whole fitness thing because that would be fun. It's just a nice outlet for me. I love it. It's it's just great and it's a great way for me to just get time for myself um which i don't always get the reason i want to lose weight okay so big news i am going to south korea this october uh late october i am going to be meeting my twin sister there we're going for our birthday and i'm just so excited we're going to actually spend our birthday together and we are going to just visit the place that we were born oh so, um i am adopted actually to be more exact i was adopted with my twin sister and our older brother and so when we go to korea this october we are going to actually meet our biological parents and i um just kind of want to make sure that i feel comfortable and confident in my own skin. I'm not looking to be a size zero, even a size two. I just want to feel the most confident and the most healthy I can because I'm meeting my birth parents. I just want to make sure that I feel good when I meet them. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I know like it's hard to explain because I was trying to explain it to one of my friends and she's like, who cares what they think? She's like, my mom sees me and she always tells me I'm fat and I'm like, okay, yeah, but you know your mom. Like, you know who she is. You know how she will react and you know that she's saying these things not to hurt you. And I'm not thinking that I'm going to go meet my biological mom she's going to be like, yo, you fat, <laughs> you know? I don't think that, but I just... Like, say you're going on a date, right, it, with someone that you really, really, really have, like, this huge crush on, and you finally get to go on a date with them. Wouldn't you want to make sure that you look and feel your best? You'll go get your hair done, you'll put your makeup on, you'll make, pick out your outfit, maybe do, like, a few exercises before you go out, like maybe monitor what you eat like even before am i weird like is, am i the only one that would like think that way i don't know but like think of it that's how i think of it like it's like getting ready for that date 
and you want to just feel your best. So my adoption story, um, okay, how do I even start? I am part of a family with multiple adoptions. I have a very large family with six kids. All right, let's start from the beginning. My adopted mom, I'm just gonna call her mom because that's what she is to me. My mom and dad, they had three children of their own. They had two boys and a little girl. They wanted to have an even larger family. Unfortunately, um, their daughter passed away. They decided um, after some time to adopt a little girl and they decided to go to, through an agency in South Korea and that's where my older sister was adopted. She was very young, she had uh, some medical issues and she, my parents actually had to pay for some of her uh, medical care and then she was brought um, to the U.S. Almost two years later, they decided they wanted to adopt more children because, you know, three wasn't enough. <laughs> and they decided that they wanted to have twins because, you know, why not? And so my mom was looking into adopting twins and they went through the same agency that they went through with my older sister. And the agency approached my dad and my mom and they said we do have twins but they do have a brother an older brother and we would like to keep them all together if you don't adopt them then we'll probably just separate the brother from the sisters and my parents made the decision to adopt all three of us so at the age of two years old, my twin sister and I were adopted along with our older brother. And we were put on a plane with other children who were being adopted out and sent to JFK Airport. Or actually, was it JFK or LaGuardia? I think it was actually LaGuardia. I don't remember. Does that matter? <laughs> No. My parents and my two older brothers came to the airport. My older sister was with, because she was um, young, she was two as well, and I think they didn't have room in their car, um, was with my grandma. And so my older brothers came and intercepted us. They got to meet us. And I was told that uh, my twin sister was crying uh, because she... I guess her shoe like was hurting her so she was crying. My biological brother was running around the airport and then I was just glaring at everyone. My mom said that I pretty much glared at everybody for like two days. Like brought me to the house and I would just sit in the corner and just glare. And I do want to correct that word it's not glaring like I was staring and the reason I know this is my daughter she does the same thing if she is uncomfortable with her situation just be like <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to do it but she's just going to straight up stare so I wasn't glaring I was staring I'm pretty sure but they said that I just would not crack a smile <laughs> and they had to understand though like I think I don't know if I've even like mentioned this to my mom but I'm sure like it had to be disconcerting not only are you you know you're a little kid you're two years old you're getting on an airplane and you're getting off you're going into a whole other country you're going into an airport that you know that in itself is just mind-boggling but then you're like meeting like white people for the first time like I probably had never seen a Caucasian person ever and now they're like in my face all the time so yeah uh, we are a family of multiple adoptions which at the time because it was the 80s was very uncommon my mom told me that reporters would just hound us uh, we were in the newspaper uh, we had our pictures taken constantly. My parents used to um, be friends with other parents of Korean adoptees. And one of the parents, she has 
two sons. One of them is a Korean adoptee, and I think she actually adopted him around the same time as we were adopted. And she would come over with her sons and help babysit on occasion. And she told me that we had a fenced-in yard, and reporters would try to jump the fence and climb trees just to take pictures of us in our backyard. She would have to block us and yell at them to just leave us alone and let us play. So it was quite new and even today like I know Angelina Jolie was like made people go whoa what is she doing look at this lady multiple adoptions adopting people all around the world like my mom was doing it first <laughs> like my mom was like the original Angelina Jolie she you know adopted three kids at the same time like who does that? And we were all around the same age. So we had my older brothers, who uh, my oldest brother is 10 years older than me, and then the next brother is five years older than me, and then my brother, who is two years older than me, and then I have my sister, um, who is uh, like 10 months older than me, and then my twin, a minute older than me. So at one point, my mom had four toddlers. That's a lot. My daughter is so good. She's so, so good. She's just a baby angel. But I could not imagine having four of her. Like, that's just so much. That's so much. So my grandma would step in and she would help, thankfully, because, yeah, that daycare bill would have been insane. When people usually hear that story, um, they usually say, oh my gosh, your mom's a saint, or she must be a saint. And I'm like, she's okay she's my mom she's human <laughs> so i was adopted into a family of caucasians i have white parents and there are two sons right and then there's the four of us at uh, korean adoptees we are a, um, a multiracial family which also was rare in at that time in the 80s obviously we were like you know the red-headed stepchildren like it was just very apparent that we did not look like our parents. We didn't look like our older brothers. So as soon as we could talk, we would observe that we didn't look like, you know, anyone. And we would ask, hey, why don't we look like mom? Why don't we look like dad? Why don't we look like our brother? And I'm sure that over the years we asked that question like a billion times because, you know, we're kids and we just forget the answer or we just want to hear the story a thousand times. And, you know, they, my parents were very upfront and they told us honestly. Okay, so now fast forward into today. Um, I'm going to meet my biological parents in South Korea in a month. I am nervous. I, like, I knew about this trip. I had booked it. Um quite in advance. When did I even get my tickets? You had asked me four months ago how I felt about it. I'd be like, oh, I'm excited. If you asked me three months ago, I'm like, I don't really know. And now you ask me, I'm like nervous. I don't know what I'm nervous about. You know what? Okay, so the most nerve-wracking part of my trip is already out of the way. Telling my mom was the hardest. I was just really worried that she would think that I'm going to meet my parents and just forget she, you know, raised us. I'm worried that she will have any moment of sadness and worry um, or any moments of concern for how I feel about her and how my twin feels about her. I did not want her to think that I'm trying to replace her in any way and I struggled with that I held on to my trip like she knew I was going to Korea but I like obviously I booked my ticket I told her <laughs> I can't keep a secret <laughs> secrets don't make friends um but I finally told her and I was so worried, but I just, I wanted to really make sure. All right, so it stopped recording and I didn't realize it. Um, basically, what I was saying is I was really nervous to tell my mom, but I told her 
and she took it really well. I checked with her and then I double checked with her and I triple checked with her and truly she's fine. She just wants to make sure that the experience is good for me. So, um, she's really just more concerned for me and my twin. So I think that's that's great and it makes me very relieved. Um, so now um, we go in like a month to meet our biological parents and I don't know what to expect. I don't really have any expectations other than I know I probably at some point will cry. I do try to hold back but yeah I just I can't help myself. I just I can't watch the news without tearing up. I just am that person. But I am excited. I'm just incredibly nervous and I will hopefully be able to let you know how it goes. I do want to record while I'm there um, because it's just such an awesome experience. Why not document it? Alright, well if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified of future videos and thank you so much. Have a great day.